We left off with the lesson of Gebo, the circle of runes, is most commonly used as a year, yera, the letter J, the letter Y, the word year, uh, winter solstice marking, 365 days, you get one year in the circle of runes. They keep other time as well, the circle of runes, keepers of time. My grandmother taught me that we have all the time there is. The Hopi believe there is no such thing as time. Everything in the universe spins in circles, more like a spiral. But if you look straight up, you see circle upon circle upon circle as it spirals through the universe. Time is an illusion of this movement through space. In the same way that the Earth spins one complete rotation on its axis in 24 hours, day and night, 24 hours. We have the Earth going around the sun 365 days to make a year. Also, the solar system spins one complete rotation on its axis every 26,000 years. The rune circle contains this measure of time as well. The twelve houses of the twelve tribes of Azrael each have a male and female energy represented by a pair of runes, beginning with Sehu Uruj would be the first house. Therzaz uh, Antush would be the second house, and so on. The Antusisani, Anasasi, Celts, Vanir, Hopi, kept the 13th house at the center of the circle. Love itself, never ending, always speaking truth. Multiplying 2,000 years by each of the 12 houses and adding 2,000 more years for the center house of love equals 26,000. In the same way that the Earth orbits around the sun every 365 and a quarter days, the solar system orbits the center of the Milky Way every 220 million years. Can you find that circle of time in the circle of roots? The 24th runes of the 24 elders, the revelation of Jesus Christ as told in a dream to John 4, 4. Round the throne were 24 thrones, the original alphabet. I am the beginning and the end. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the Fehu and the Dagaj. I am the alphabet. And seated on the thrones were 24 elders, the original alphabet of this planet, clad in white garments. The language of light, with golden crowns upon their head, with love forever at its center, speaking truth. The stars keep time as well. You call it constellations. In the Hopi teachings, the circle of time is around the stars. The Pleiades, they are called the Nine Sisters, Valkyries. They were keepers of the night, these constellations. And as we circle and turn on our axis, as the galaxy spins, we spin through these different constellation houses, and each one has an energy. We are in the beginning of the house of Aquarius, Cocapelle, Dagaj, the Great Awakening. And this is the rune of Wunyo. It looks like a P, but it's not. Turn it on its side and you get a V, add another one and you get a W. Wunyo is the letter W or the letter V. In English, remember, ABC is slave tongue. So in English Futhark runes, Wunyo is 
the sacred universal light of the stars that are always spinning in the universe. And the Pleiades, the Nine Sisters, and the Valkyries are the timekeepers of the night. Time keepers of the night, time keepers of the night, nine sister Valkyries, time keepers of the night. Axe time slices time with her axe gung har. Adumla, white buffalo calf woman. Repeat to each direction. Axe time slices time with her axe gung har. Aries the ram. Repeat. To each direction. Axe time slices time with her axe gung har. Pisces the fish otella. Repeat to each direction. Axe time slices time with her axe gung har. Now the stars become Aquarius. Cocopele, water bearer, and the sky begins to flow like water. Swan maiden swimming in crystal midnight heavens. Laughing stars gathering all the light of the sky. Time keepers of the night, time keepers of the night, nine sister Valkyries, time keepers of the night. Uno, the sacred universal light of joy, perfection, fulfiller of wishes. When you wish upon a star, prayer of the angels. And the angels don't sing in the slave tongue. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Not a slave. No, not the angels. The angels do not sing in the slave tongue. This is the prayer of the angels. So elu, so elu, so elu, algis. So elu, so elu, so elu, algis. So elu. So elu, so elu, so elu, so elu, algi, so elu, so elu, so elu, algi, so elu, so elu, so elu, so elu. So elu algis, so elu, so elu, so elu algis, so elu, so elu, so elu, so elu, so elu algis, so elu, so elu, so elu algis, so. Hello, so hello, so hello, Algiers. You're the Burkana, you're the Burkana, you're the Burkana, you're the Burkana. So hello, Algiers, you're the Burkana. So hello, Algiers, you're the Burkana. So elu algis your the burkana. So elu algis your the burkana. And because you all are just now learning English and coming out of your deep long slumber and starting to be awake, I will translate this into the A B C tongue of slaves that you all speak, my slaves. Just so you know what it means in your slave language. Holy Mother of all angels, please use your lightning and awaken the other angels so we can sing and speak the truth and awaken Mother Earth and make her grow green. So elu argis yorda burkana. Uno sheds light on all. It is the universal sacred light. 
Kanaj is the fire of the West, the light inside a human, the autumn equinox. It is both love and death where all are truly equal. Unyo does not judge. The universal light simply is. It is light. It shines on all. It is giving to all who seek enlightenment. It equalizes. It is the eighth rune of the English alphabet and known in the old stories by this phrase, I know an eighth, which no one on earth could fail to find useful. When hatred waxes among warriors, the spell will soothe them. Universal light will awaken them. This rune will put entities at complete peace. Humans who have enlightenment have peace. May the mother angel shine her light upon the earth so she may grow. May the holy mother of angel of all use her lightning to awaken all the angels so we can sing and speak the truth to awaken the great Mother Earth and make her grow green. So elu al chis yor da